What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Tour Trip to take a look at that NASA Energy Drink 370Z of Chris Forsberg. Big uh, Formula Drift car in the update. I know I'm a little bit late to this update, but unfortunately, I did get a new phone. I got a new Samsung Galaxy uh, you know, S10 Plus, so I had to get a new cable so I could get some recording done. But we are going to take a look at this 370Z today and have a little fun with it. So we're going to get right to it and uh, take a look at it. So like I said, I did get a new phone. So before we get fully into this, you guys notice I have no cars anymore. <laughs> I have been grinding out from the get go with these cars, trying to get some money and points and stuff like that. I do have the Chris Forsberg car, which has helped because this car is an amazing machine. So if you guys have not noticed my you know, driver level and all that, it is a lot lower now because this is a new account on an Android device so make sure you guys follow me on the hub on my new account if you didn't check it up on instagram look for uh that icon and evil rabbit because i believe there is actually um some uh some other ones in there so you have evil rabbit fam which is uh i've gone against him before pretty cool guy then you have my original evil rabbit account which all you guys follow on so that's my iphone account this one is not me, um, obviously no followers. So if you guys, make sure you guys come follow, search Evil Rabbit, find my new profile, follow me on here. Uh, this is the new profile that um, I will be running because this phone makes this game run on ultra settings and it doesn't even bat an eyelash at this, at this game. So I can run ultra high graphics and I have no issues whatsoever. Been grinding out the sponsorship tree as well recently on the new account. So like I said, Chris Forsberg's car, definitely a very amazing car. I've been using it to get all the money I have and everything like that. It's definitely a very sick car. So if you notice that there's not a bunch of stuff on there, obviously because we can't do too much, but as for tuning, I have left this car basically out of the box, how it sits, haven't changed anything, but we are gonna increase our steering lock to uh, 65%. Um, I've been running it on 60 and it's amazing and this car is just it is by far probably one of my favorite pro cars right now well obviously it's the only pro car I have on this account but so far my favorite handling pro car so we're gonna go take it and we're just gonna go rip it I'm trying to find Cali Speedway racetrack because I need that for um, the NRG sponsorship so I can unlock that so I can unlock my own but we're just gonna hop right into it with this car and try and get some tandems on Long Line. I believe Long Line is another sponsor I'm trying to unlock. So Chris Forsberg's car definitely looks sick. I love the way it looks, and you know the graphics in the game are incredible on high. So, and like I said, I have everything turned up to max, and this this phone does not blink. So we're gonna run this Chris Forsberg's car, have a little fun with it. Like I said, this is probably my favorite FD car pro car right now in the game. I could have been a lot closer to that wall. But I have noticed that the game being on ultra, there is more smoke, more particles and stuff like that. So being in tandem is a lot more interesting, but the phone just doesn't glitch. So I can record torque drift and stream torque drift in this beautiful high quality for you guys and bring you guys more content. So, like I said, Chris Horsburgh's car, out of the box. It's bar none, probably amazing car. If you don't have it, I would definitely recommend picking it up. It's just an insanely handling car. The power is right there. It, it kind of does exactly what you want it to do. Oh, oh, I should have hit the brakes, but I thought I could not, but I didn't overshoot him, so we're good. Okay, he slowed up a lot more than I thought. But overall, a decent chase run, smashing into the tires as we exit. Because you know we're going to take this thing to Cali Banks before we end this episode off. But I wanted to do a little uh, little run here on the long line. And I think it's actually no collisions at the long line. So I think I totally just, you know, screwed my, uh, my sponsorship I was looking for. But we're here. So I think we're gonna hop over to Cali because I believe there's a 
Cali Banks beginning run and we're gonna see if we can get a tandem here and then we'll hop over to Abby Zoo with this car so this car a lot of fun to drive definitely an amazing car so cool to see it in here race service cars now if only, can only get Ryan Turk's car in here too and have both the race service you know cars in here that'd be pretty sweet we got a lot of pro cars and a lot more coming for sure so now it looks like we're going up against an S13 bang this car right up into sixth gear next tires on the back 64 on the roof so this car has absolutely no traction from the start so I have noticed I have to uh, kind of make up the, the space in something just a just a tap on the wall it's a pretty decent uh, run up on that wall it, the car kind of goes exactly where I want it to go and the power band is right there and I feel that this probably is my favorite handling car so far that has come out oh man if i wouldn't have tapped that i would have had a lot higher but i got a little little greedy towards the end we still are able to take a higher higher lead so now we're going to try and uh, bang a decent chase run on this s13 my uh buttoner freaking out see this is the thing that i have noticed with the car the grip level in the beginning is not as high so definitely have to uh cut the angle to get up to where I want to get up to. Try and flick it in, try and run his door as much as possible. There we go. He's running a very, uh, very wide line. Other off the gas. So a decent chase nonetheless, but like I said, this car chase is amazing. So if you don't have it, make sure you guys pick it up. We're gonna have probably another run here at Cali Bank, so I'm definitely enjoying that. Hop over to Ebizu, try it again. But just wanted to, uh, you know, make sure everything was in working order with the new phone. So now I will be able to do live streams and stuff like that as well. So I uh, apologize for the little late on this uh, Chris Forsberg car, and uh, looks like we're going with the same guy. But like I said, I had to get a new cable so that I could record on the new phone because uh, the cables I was using only worked on my old iPhone, which I no longer have. I got rid of the iPhone 10 and uh, picked up the Galaxy S10 Plus, and I'm kind of so glad I did because uh, this game is so much nicer on Ultra Graphics and not having any uh, real glitching issues at all or stuttering or frame rate lag or anything on those lines. Ooh, don't touch that wall. Stay off the wall that time. So, super excited, even though I'm on a new account, to be continuing to play the game. But, just, just I am building this account from the ground up. And, uh, got a bunch of money stored up because we're going to be doing some new builds. Because, uh, well, we got a clean slate. So, we're going to do some new builds on some new cars. And, uh, we got money to blow and money to burn. And parts to buy and cars to build. So expect some more Torque Drift build here on the channel because, uh, well, we got to build up my car fleet again. It's definitely going to be uh, grinding the game a little bit more. So if you guys see me online, it is me. Um, so if you do see Evil Rabbit, it is me. Even though you think because it's a lower account, this is a new account. So make sure you guys follow me on the new account on the hub. Search Evil Rabbit. Find the one with my NRG chair in the background and that. Um, clip for my old E46 on the side of the paint. So, with that being said, make sure you guys also follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't. Appreciate the support. So I think we're going to hit back to Ebizu. Escape plan Ebizu versus 1000. And uh, see what we can do on Ebizu with uh, this car. Can't use any of my other cars, but if you notice, I haven't even touched those cars. They're still rank zero. Uh, no parts have been put onto those cars. I've been just grinding out money so I can make a nice build. And uh, I haven't decided what car I want to do. What car do you guys think I should do? What car do you think I should build up and do for my actual build for the game that I use more and more than the pro cars? Let me know down in the comments which car you think I should build and start rocking here on the new account on Torque Drift. Thinking maybe, a, maybe the Mustang. Maybe a Viper, haven't decided yet. Maybe a, you know, 180SX. I don't know why I was on handbrake for that long. 
180 SX, maybe, you know, a 370Z with, you know, on pro car. That was a pretty bad run. Sitting here talking, and that was a pretty bad run. So let me know what car you guys think I should rock in the new account and what car I should build up. Some money saved up, 300 and some thousand maybe. So I got a decent amount of money to uh, start a decent build on a car. So I'm gonna be doing some overnight parts from uh, the torque drift with our a little uh, some of our torque money. I am just beating on him like an Ebizu uh, drift missile even though I'm in a pro car and not in angle. So I go from running really nice runs to Cali Banks to just beating on this guy here at Ebizu and uh, not doing a very good job, but I probably should have been in fifth gear instead of sixth, but you know, you live and you learn. Oh, it still took the win, okay. I was not expecting to take that win, but apparently the chase is better. Give another shot here and try some fifth gear. So every pro car that they've brought out recently has been amazing. And I think, like I said many times in this episode, I think this is probably my favorite pro car thus far. The handling, the power, the grip level, just the sheer controllability of it is an amazing car. And, uh, I hope uh, I can do a build on a car that handles just as good as this car. Maybe a little more power, maybe in the thousands, maybe less power, because this is a uh, 850. So it's a uh, higher up, well, it's a pro FD car. Looks like we got a we got a little battle on our hands this time. Seemed to be fifth gear worked out better for us. Try not to uh, totally bang this guy side to side like uh, Evy Zoo Drift Missile. Gonna try and uh, get some tandems indoors. Oh, all the left hook, oh, left hook brake and handbrake and kind of overshot him there. It was almost a perfect run, almost a perfect chase run, given the uh, slow drifting in this part of the track. I think we'll still take the win on here. If you couldn't imagine why not, we are gonna take the win. So we're gonna take that win here at Ebizu in Chris Forsberg's car. I feel like this car is a new Trump car. I've been noticing a lot of people have been sending me a message saying that this car is insane and they've been winning tournaments with it. I have won a couple tournaments on this account. And uh, it's definitely uh, definitely been a fun time. Some pretty hard, some pretty rough tournaments. 64 mans, 32 mans. Tournaments are rough. And uh, I've been going up against some uh, A-class drivers, some triple and double A, and just barring on some insane drivers in tournaments. And it, it just makes the game so much better because the challenge of trying to win a tournament and going all the way to the win, especially if it's a 64 man tournament. That is, that's a lot of driving and a lot of time out. A lot of time spent and that's a lot of time spent if you just miss the top spot. I've been in the top spot of a 64-man tournament and just came up shy by, I believe, 100 points. And that 100 points was the diff difference of winning and losing, and that 100 points made me take second, which is still a good, which is still good to take second, but uh, first money value was so much higher. <laughs> Bar none. So not a very good uh, lead run. But still enough, we kind of smacked the back of our car really hard in the bank entry. So I think the only downside I found about this car is the, uh, the lack there of traction in the beginning. But if you can make up for that, the car is very stable. And uh, it'll do what you want it to do. Just like that suck up on this door a little bit. I'm gonna fill out the gas. So we're gonna go into those barriers. We're a little bit farther back than I want to be. A little bit overthrown. But we are catching back up. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Torque Drift. Taking a look at Chris Forsberg's 
370Z, NOS Energy Drink, next in Tyre's car. Definitely an amazing car. I love the way it looks. Can't wait to see his new engine and power plant in FD season this year. FD is getting close. So, like I said, I think that'll do it. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you guys follow the new account on Torque Drift. Search you for Abbott in the Hub. Like, send me a follow. I will follow you back. If you guys haven't noticed, um, my follower total matches my follows total. So, if you guys send me a follow on Torque Drift, I will uh, send you guys a follow back. So, make sure you guys follow me on here. This is my actual account. Look for the Energy and Evil Rabbit chair and then the clip from my E46 paint. So, as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'll see you guys next time.